uh, this is Roy Dimshade and welcome to my YouTube channel uh, the lecture number 16 advanced planning and scheduling systems my first request is to subscribe my channel and if possible you can click on the bell icon it gives me motivation to make more educational videos for you so today's topic is a software that is an important part of the supply chain called advanced planning and scheduling system so it's a bit complex and i just want you to stay with me because if you stay with me uh, then you will be able to understand what these softwares do so let's go for the definition as you can see the picture down so we go for the definitions as per the apex so technique that deals with analysis planning of the logistics and manufacturing over the short intermediate and long term time period eps describes any computer program that used advanced mathematical algorithms or logic to perform now the question here is why we need the aps advanced Pl advanced planning and scheduling software so we have a complexity that will be solved by this particular APS software. So the complexity is, for example, you have seven production plants located in 10 cities that in produce 11 type of products. There is 20 type of raw material used to produce these 11 types of products. Certain number of people who can operate the plant, maybe you have a certain number of labor, maybe you have certain number of engineers and stuff like that and there's a power supply you know it has different rates in in the daytime it has different rates in the night times now the question is what is the optimum solution with limited resources against the certain demand there's a certain demand and you have to solve this issue so what you need is an aps system you know that perform complex trade-off calculations between the competing priorities in an attempt to balance internal constraints against the resources so you need to get the optimum benefit from the these constraints like you have limited resources complex you know uh, competing demands uh, competing task which is competing with each other like you have to produce a r b r c a d product so you have you can may have hundred of suppliers so at this point you need this sort of a software which can solve your issues so uh, you need this software for solution of these complex problems so let's go for other um, you know slide and uh, you know, meanwhile I, I i think you understand this thing hopefully okay let's go talk something else about the APS so um, whenever you are implementing the APS are you intended to implement in your company so you have the, like two choices sometimes it is the part of ERP means if you have the SAP it is the part of the SAP APS is advanced but planning and scheduling is all already the part of the SAP package or ERP package so second choice is the best of the breed means like there is a software a made by company b which is the best one and it is of a good market reputation and you know it, it is it is the perfect one in that case that software you purchase from company need to be integrated with the erp of either from production side or from sales side so you need to uh integrated with that so second thing important thing is that it it you know at, at three levels uh, the e uh, aps system can work one is on the strategic level where you have to make the strategic decisions like where you need to open your production plant where like if you're a retailer when you, you need to have you know retail shops you need the warehouses you need the raw material supplier you need maybe the like hundreds of suppliers so for this all complex information and it op comes up with an optimum the best solution the most best solution 
mean I mean to say that that it that is the perfect best solution so through the algorithms and all the stuff like this and logic and similar let's go for the four modules of the APS look at the picture the first one is demand management you know the demand management is APS system requires demand management resources capacity input from one or more ERP system it begins its analysis by looking at the customer information customer orders for cost promotional activities seasonality in the demand management mode then it prepares the supply chain organization demand projection you know it means uh, you know it means a demand complete demand uh, information that is that will be passed to the uh, resource management so the second module will go for the second module but it do the APS system evaluate the demand plan and compare capacity against the constraints let's go for number three that is the optimization module number three here you need to optimize you get the information of what resources like plants and its capacity and the labor capacity everything you have put and you have the demand so it comes up with the multiple plans it makes multiple plans a b c but you know the optimal plan it automatically select that is the most beneficial for us like we operate a b c d plan for the products and on the certain hour the the manufacturing will continue maybe in the night shift due to some issues so whatever the solution is it is the optimum one so next thing is you know have to res allocate the resources what you have selected to optimize the operations like uh, these things will be uh, come from the m m p a what a sorry aps sorry aps to uh from uh resource allocation module to the erp so and the resources will be allocated now the things are locked and now you give the resources through the erp like you said this plant will run for 10 hours then it for product a then it will run for two hours for product b so this e through this erp now the impl implementation will happen to material uh, master scheduling master scheduling and uh, you get like uh, like erp master production schedule sorry you put it to the must uh, must uh, like system master production schedule master production to use mps okay let's talk about the information uh, that the APS provides to the uh, sales and sales services so first one a is like available to promise so APS tells that how much inventory is there uh, that is available to promise means this is the inventory that is not committed or not, neither you have committed with any customer uh, like you have like uh, and plus the planned production schedule so two things you add like one is you like you add the total quantity plus planned production minus sales so the rest of the um, you know uh, quantity is uh, that available to promise this is the this is the inventory you are sure about that that this will be available for the customers so second thing you go for uh, capable to promise so you go also for the capable to promise capable to promise means that you have the uh on a, on a certain schedule like you uh you have the availability of your production and plants and you have the inventory and raw material at hand so you can give a schedule 
to a customer that in, on certain dates with our available inventory raw material and uh, production cap uh, capacities and human resource you can quote to a customer in in a scheduled date means upcoming date so uh, let's go for the last one one and at this my lecture will be finished um, third information it provides it's profitable to plan um, promise that's you know like you have uh, 10 items you are selling and uh, you know APS got all information cost everything so capacity so it will tell um, the sales team that these certain products like if there's a table there's a chair uh, there is like a bed and uh, you know there's a dining table so it tells you like uh, which products are more profitable and uh, you get more profit on that so hope you understand it bit complex but you just study it you're gonna get easily it's very critical for exams of